the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 336, Romans 4 to 7. Adam's disobedience and Jesus' obedience. Jesus, who gave his life for us, redeemed all our sins through his grace that was given to us as God's gift. First point. Paul and Matthew both used Abraham and David as an example to explain the whole Bible. In Matthew chapter 1, Matthew wrote that Jesus' story was the entire summary of the Bible. Much like Matthew, Paul also introduced Jesus' story as the climax of the Bible and used the example of Abraham and David to explain justification by faith. Paul first wrote about Abraham. No one can stand completely righteous before God. Paul declared that not even Abraham, who was the most righteous man of his time, was able to stand completely righteous before God. Paul's next example was David. Paul taught that even David confessed his sins and was able to be forgiven through God's great mercy. Thus, justification did not come purely from circumcision. What made Abraham righteous before God was not circumcision by itself, but because of his faith in God, meaning that the important thing was what circumcision symbolized. Paul thereupon taught the Roman church that Jesus' death and resurrection was what gave all humans hope. Second point, Paul explained that those who were considered righteous had peace, grace, hope, and love in their lives. Paul taught the Roman church what kind of life they were to lead in order to be considered righteous by God. Paul ultimately stressed that all humans were able to be saved through Jesus' ministry of the cross. Paul used expressions such as when we were still weak and while we were still sinners. Thus, we were to be all the more grateful to God for enabling us to have a hope through the hope that He gave to us. While we were still sinners, God gave us His Son Jesus Christ as our solution. Through Adam's sins, all humans were to die, and through Jesus' death, all humans were open to eternal life. Third point, Paul summarized the entire Bible through Adam's disobedience and Jesus' obedience. Paul wrote that Adam's disobedience opened the path of sins for humans as well as death. However, Jesus' obedience opened the way for all humans to gain salvation and eternal life. Paul then taught what God's laws, which came before the gospel, meant. Ultimately, the laws were there to help humans realize and confess their sins and then come closer to salvation. Both point, Paul referred to Jesus as the standard to distinguish between an old and new person. Paul now taught about how Christians were to live as renewed people. Through Jesus' cross, we were able to receive forgiveness and become free. Our faith in Jesus Christ liberated us. Anyone could become a renewed person through faith in Jesus. However, this does not mean that we will never sin again. What we must do is to repent and to come before God and have a faith that God is always with us. Paul taught that as Christians, we must live a new life through Christ. Paul stressed that they were to no longer be servants of sins, but servants of righteousness. And so, Paul exhorted the Roman church to stay away from sin. He told them to be servants of Christ and to be righteous, and that this would give them eternal life. Fifth point, Paul declared freedom from sin, freedom from death, 
and now freedom from the law. Anyone who believes in Jesus must turn from the laws and serve Jesus. This did not mean to say that the laws no longer mattered. The laws remained holy. The laws also had a role in making us understand that we had to stand before God and be judged. However, the laws were no longer the governing factor. Believing in Jesus meant that they no longer had to be bound up in chains. Jesus had freed all humans through his crucifixion. Paul taught the Roman church that they were now at the liberty to be free from the laws. Paul stressed that with Jesus' ministry, they were no longer under the law. Everyone was invited to salvation through Jesus. Thus, the role of the law was to help one realize their sins. Through Galatians, Paul taught that the laws were an elementary step into the gospel. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.